Today I will uh, show you how we can uh, uh, create a variety of different blues like the ones we saw on um, the video um, that was done in front of Metaxart Studio while watching the sea. The sea offers us a great range of colors according to the weather. So, uh, but first I will introduce you to my palette. So I'm working with a certain variety of colors. Here I have white and then I have three yellows, three reds and usually I work with three blues but today I will add an extra one because I want to make a lot of blue colors. So yellow, this is a lemon yellow, this is um, a yolk yellow that um, uh, usually brands say it, um, call it um, deep cadmium. This is an okra. And here I have a vermilion red. Then I have a scarlet red. It's a very nice pure red. A carmina red, and then I go on with my blues. This is a very nice ultramarine blue, cobalt blue, this is the extra blue that I use and it's the cerulean blue. I will, I'm going to use a lot. So you see the colors I put out are according to the quantities I'm going to use. And here is some Prussian blue. I will also take some more white outside. My, this is a very um, good idea to use your colors. Uh, because um, I uh, buy big quantities of uh, good colors, I don't want to waste them. Acrylics dry very easily, so it's very easy for me to use them and I put them in small vases and then I take them out with um, my knife. So, I repeat the names of the colors. Here I have white, lemon yellow, cadmium uh, yellow deep or yolk yellow, okra yellow, vermilion red, scarlet red, a very pure red, carmina, ultramarine blue, cobalt blue, cerulean blue and Prussian blue. So with these colors, we're going to create a big variety of blues. Usually when you want to make a combination of colors, um, you should always start from the bright color and then add the darker color. For example, when you want to make a green, you start with the yellow and then you add the blue. Now that I'm going to do some very bright blues, I'm going to start with white. And then I will add some cerulean blue. I will first start with a middle hue and a middle tone. This won't be the color that is going to be uh, at the end, but it is a color from where I can start. So you see, it's a middle hue and also a middle tone. It's not very bright, it's not very dark. It's a value in between. Now, if I want to go on and make a big contrast in this color, what I can do is go and um, I can go and take 
uh, a darker uh, blue. Here is a very um, uh, important notice that I have to tell you that when colors uh, they have a value because they are compared with something else. So this is a middle hue. So if I put a darker hue next to it, this hue becomes bright. If I want to make an even darker hue, either I can add some Prussian blue and make a darker blue, like here, or even I can go and add some red on my blue. So I can take an ultramarine blue, add some little red, you see, the difference now, so now you can see how um, the colors started to be different. I usually avoid to put the colors on my painting as they come directly out from the tube. I really prefer to make, uh, create my own tones and my own hues. But just I'm going to leave this ultramarine here just to show it. I won't make the painting today. I just want you to have a look and see how you can create different kind of blues. So let me repeat. Here I have cerulean blue and white. Here I have a plain ultramarine blue. Here is an ultramarine with a little bit of red and here is ultramarine with Prussian blue. So if I will go on and add this kind of colors, the purplish colors, purplish colors, I mean colors that they are really a little bit more warm than a blue. You see here, the blue, the cerulean blue, this one with white, looks quite greenish, quite yellowish. It's not necessary to add to it uh, more uh, yellow. But we can go on and then take some cerulean blue. And then I will add to it some Prussian blue. And in this way, I'm going to create a middle greenish blue. And if I add to this a little bit of white, then I have a brighter tone. It's very interesting to see now how um, this color will look like if I start adding to this one a little bit of yellow and a little bit of yellow here. So I will start with a little bit of yellow on the darker one. The tone is really dark, but compared to this, it becomes more bright and more blue. You see, this green here and this green here are the same. So what is very important is to see that this um, greenish blue here looks more green than this one. And this is because it's compared with this purplish blue. So if I go and I add some white, this will come to 
to a more turquoise blue, a more greenish blue. But if I take this color, I create some more. If I'm going to add this color next to a purple color, it's going to be very, very different than this one. So what I wanted to say is that this color is the same with this color. I repeat it. But here it looks different because it's, it is compared to different colors. And here it also looks different because it's compared with um, other colors a little bit more dark. So the contrast is bigger here than here. Okay. And then uh, we can go and see what um, ultramarine looks like. I can create also, before we go to ultramarine, I will create some different hues. If this is a middle one. It's brighter, not very much brighter, but if I add some more white and a little bit of more yellow, we can have an even brighter hue. And then I can go back to the first color I used, the cerulean uh, blue, and show you something. This is a Prussian, okay? This is a Prussian blue. The Prussian blue and um, the um, cerulean blue are very close hues. They are very different tones. But if you add white, you are going to create a similar blue, a little bit more dull than the cerulean one. So what is important to see is how different these colors looks like and how they can help us create so many different blues. So I go back to my cerulean. You see that this hue and the tone is the same, but here when I put it, it looks different. And this is because it is compared with something else. So this doesn't look the same with this, even if it is exactly the same. And now I will show you what I told you before. Um, I'll talk about this wonderful blue, the ultramarine blue. Ultramarine blue is a very, um, it's quite a purplish blue. So it has a very uh, unique characteristic. So when you add white, you can create a nice brighter blue. But when you put it in between the very yellowish blues, it looks more warm, like here, but it's the same. 
or if you put it here, here it's going to look more like pinkish. And this is because it is surrounded with um, very greenish blues. But if I go here, it looks much more colder than this one. So this one and this one are exactly the same colors. And they look different just because um, they have different surroundings. And I will do the same with some pink. And the pink I will create I will use white and a little bit of um, carmina red so actually these two they have almost the same tone, the same value Okay, so this looks very warm, considering to that. But if I go here, you can always use some pinkish for the sky when it touches. So if I put it here, it looks more warm than the blue. But if you put it here, it becomes quite similar. And if you put this next to your greens here, it's going to look quite more cold. So it's according what colors you have you are surrounding um, your paintings. Look at exam for example this here and this here. You see this here loses the warmness. It's not so cold as this, but it's not also so warm as this. And if you're going to put some Prussian blue, a dark Prussian blue. A greenish blue. And then you can go and add some ultramarine, like here, with white. You can give a very, very nice difference between and very nice variety between the colors. So here you could use this color just to go up and use this nice light blue with a little bit of red to make it more pinkish for your sky and mix much the colors and leave the warmer ones for the area that touches the horizon with the sea. So you see, I'm not creating the, um, the landscape, but I'm just trying to create you big varieties of the colors. Another color that we didn't talk about is cobalt blue. I didn't use cobalt blue in purpose, so you can see the difference of cobalt blue. Cobalt blue is a more gentle blue and it can create um, a lot of nice um, grey blues. It, 
it's a, a blue that can lead you in in different ways according where you want to go. It creates a very nice grey blue. And if you want to add some ochre, it can create a very, very nice grey blue that you can use for wild seas, for grey days where we have a lot of clouds. You see how greyish this blue looks according the other colors that we created and it is just cobalt blue with a little bit of okra and a little bit of white that gave us this and if you want you can add a little bit more okra and it will start giving you the feeling of uh, the pebbles, of the sand, of the area where the sea approaches the sand. So, you see how uh, you can create a big variety uh, just using this basic range of colors. You don't need to have uh, a lot of blues and a big palette. This is just 11 colors. I don't use uh, black. It's not necessary to use black. And you just can, uh, can go on creating uh, different blues with a variety of different uh, colors by mixing them and just try to see uh, the hues and which blue is more purplish, which is more greenish and you are going to have the result only if you um, put one just next to the other. Thank you for watching and I wish I help you with these uh, tips about blues. Tune in uh, on our uh, Metaxart website and join uh, Metaxart online lessons. Have a nice day.